Fish on. Oh, this could be my first stripe around this lake. Gotta see this thing. I'm not gonna get excited yet. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd. I got the GoPro on my hat. I'm at Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia. I drove six and a half hours this morning from Pittsburgh. I got up really early. Now, why would I drive that far? Because not only is this beautiful, but this could be when the spawn is taking place. It's April. I'm trying to get a leg up on the fish spawn. I was here last year in March. It was a little too early. Caught some really nice fish, but no stripers. So this year, I'm hoping it's gonna be different. I got two days to fish. Gonna see how this goes. All right, first cast. So I am up from the lake into the Roanoke River, into the spawning area. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, nice little crappie. Great start. just the one fish I'm gonna fish here for a little bit then go upstream beautiful right here but I can feel the wind picking up and I got a feeling it's gonna get really interesting when I get around the corner here and I get the, the northern wind head-on this will be a challenge check this out white caps on this river as a headwind and I'm also going against the current so I got the trolling motor on full speed I'm barely moving forward I really want to find this spot so I'm gonna fish a little bit longer I don't think there's any spawn happening right now, to be honest. I'm gonna get off of this river. Uh, I'm gonna head down to the cabin at the state park. My sister and her family is meeting up there too. My cousin and her family. I'll go down and say hello to them and then fish in the open lake. Never caught a striper in the open lake either. So I'm gonna give that a try. All right, take a look at this. Not bad for a state park cabin. Let's give him the first one here. We'll have cabins near each other. They're not here yet. All right, I'm gonna get back out in the lake. All right, getting set up here. So according to free depth maps, I'll put a link below, there's a really nice drop off up here just to the left near this little peninsula. So I'm gonna jig that, give that a try. Beautiful area, really nice drop off. So the depth finder I have confirms it. It goes from 17 feet down to 27 feet. Water temp's still kind of cold. It's in the high 50s, low 60s. So I'm just going to cast out a soft bait, my usual 1 8 ounce jig, 3 inch Berkeley gulp. Move it real slow on the bottom. Oh, that's a fish. That's a hit. Got him. Nice, solid fish. Nice, small mouth. Get in here. Yes. Nice, smally. Great coloration, healthy fish. Okay, I fished that drop off a good bit. Didn't get any more fish. Gonna try some trolling. Going for the big stripers here. So I'm gonna use a four inch Berkeley gulp on the one eighth ounce jig. This water is really clear. I don't know if you can tell, but 
Fish can see pretty far in this water, so I'm just going to trust their ability to find me in the open water. Casting another line here. Just going to troll. Looks like the fish are suspended about five feet down according to this, this uh, portable depth finder. It's only 83 bucks. It's not good at finding fish on the bottom. It tells you stumps and sticks or everything is a fish, uh, but nothing else could be five feet down in this water. So I'm gonna keep trolling here. Fish on. Could be my first striper on this lake. Gotta see this thing. I'm not gonna get excited yet. It's coming in. It's not super heavy. I'm reeling in this other line with my other hand so they don't get tangled. Yes, first one. Look at that, not huge. Look at those perfect stripes. Not a hybrid, There's no broken stripes at all. Ah, finally get that first striper here. So I'm looking for a much bigger striper. I trolled back and forth over that same area. I didn't get any. So I'm gonna start exploring the lake, covering lots of water to try to catch that giant striper. I'm gonna to head toward the cabins. It's about two and a half miles from here. It's worth a try. I think I'm getting close. I recognize that boathouse off to the right. So the cabins, I remember seeing that from the cabin, so the cabin should be right there. So it must be up this little channel over here. There's my cousin Kathy, I don't know if they can see me yet. Is it just now? So, it's recording. GoPro, stop recording. Go for a stop recording. That was fun. They're gonna be paddle boarding while I start trolling back towards the boat launch about three miles from where the cabins are. I have enough juice, I think, but if not, the wind's at my back. So hopefully I'll get another fish or two on the way back. cast of the day till I come back and fish a little bit in the morning. I'm almost to the boat launch. I'm gonna try this one last drop off. Oh, there's a fish. Man, whack that thing. Whack that jig. Same 28 ounce tube head jig with a Berkeley gulp. Oh, spotted bass. Come on, stay on. Man. Yes. Look at that nice spotted bass. We don't have many of these in PA.
All right, I'm gonna pack up here for the day until tomorrow morning, but that was a long, fun day. Starting with leaving Pittsburgh at 4 a.m. this morning, fished two areas of this lake, caught four species, some great time with family. I hope you enjoyed the slow motion, the explanations, the aerial footage. If you've not become a subscriber, please consider doing so. I'll post what happens tomorrow. Plus, I'm definitely coming back here again to do more videos, so subscribe for those. Leave a comment or question about anything. I take a look at those, and I will see you on the next fishing adventure.